If I said that you're the most famous piano entertainer in Sweden, would you agree? I'd say you're a big fat liar. (laughs) (laughs) I think uh, when people think about, uh, think of piano entertainers in Sweden, I think you're the first name and face that comes up. Yeah, I think so. But you've done this a long time. Yeah, it's close to, it's about 30 years now. 30 yeah, years? Yeah, it's, it's about 30 years. And now we are in Salen, at the biggest hotel in Salen, and you have played here for 26 years? Yes. 26 years? Yeah. How was last night? It was great. I mean, now during the pandemic, of course, things are more silent than usual, but Still a great night, really nice people and good atmosphere. What makes a good night for you, for a piano entertainer? Good connection with the audience, good yeah. exchange of energy with the audience. Yeah. That's key, it, I think. Does it matter if it's a soft night or a party oh. night or? I can really enjoy uh, quiet, quiet, uh, quiet night as well. You know. With just a few in the audience, that, that's okay. As long as I somehow reach them and have an, some kind of energy exchange with them, it's okay. If if there are only four people in the audience, that's okay with me. What's so special about piano entertaining? compared to other kinds of entertainment. Unpredictability. Unpre- oh, unpredictability. That's a, that's a big word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a big word. Uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that when you go out each night, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. Anything can happen every night. Actually, I, I, I might even not have an idea of any song I'm going to play that night. I go out and, and just feel the room, feel the audience and think what's a good song to play now and it could be anything I mean in a piano bar I guess that's the only situation the only type of gig where you can end up playing only Kiss songs a whole night (laughs) or only Sinatra songs a whole night (laughs) How many songs do you have in your arsenal you think? If I don't have access to any lyrics or or anything like that, uh, I have roughly maybe 1,200 songs. Yeah. And then, I mean, I'm sure a couple of thousand more if I can use this little guy yeah. and just, just uh, call on some lyrics. Restaurants and bars and clubs yeah. and also uh, events type. What do you think that they should think about when they want to start a piano bar? Oh, if you want to start a piano bar. Yeah, if you want to have a piano bar. Yeah. Either it's for one or two occasions because it's a, an event, or if you have a restaurant and you want to. I mean, the whole idea of a piano bar, as far as, I, as far as far as I'm concerned, is to let the people come close and, and participate. That that's the key. Uh, you want to build it so people feel welcome to join the party and come close to the piano. A couple of bar stools around the piano and uh, and have the sound system played from behind the piano. So it, it just reinforces what the the, the the piano player does. As we talked about earlier, it's really corny if, if you have a guy singing in front of you and the sound comes from behind you. Yeah, yeah. You want you want the sound to come f- from the piano entertainer. Yeah, yeah. From that direction. Yeah. So that's one thing. Do you need the grand piano furniture? I think it's, yeah, to call it a piano bar. Yeah. You should have the, yeah. Absolutely. Some kind of 
place anyway, so people can hang and place their drinks. Absolutely. Uh, how is a perfect evening for you in the piano bar? A good night on a piano bar could be so, so many different things. I mean, I like when it's crowded and when it's high energy. That's really fun. But, but the key is just to have a good exchange of energy with the audience, whether they are 400 or if there are four. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the really, really, really memorable nights I can think of uh, have been pretty small audience uh, with some guests asking for really, really obscure songs, and I just happen to know them. And, and yeah, then, and, you know, we kind of yeah, you connect. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the worst thing? Some of the hardest situations to tackle is when you have a pretty good vibe for the audience, it could be kind of quiet, and then you get, for instance, two guests who come to the piano and just want party big time and just request songs that doesn't fit the overall atmosphere. How to handle that? It's, yeah. It, it could be tricky. Sometimes you find a way, sometimes you just want to kill yourself. <laughs> <that> <laughs> Yeah, I recognize that. That's the challenge, and that's what you have to keep trying to learn how to handle and be better at handling those situations. But one thing I think that both you and me, why we are doing this, is because of that challenge also. Absolutely. Because that means that not, no two nights are the same. No. And also that we need to be on our toes every gig. Absolutely. Some situations are really, really hard to track down because I guess you can rec recognize this situation too and, 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 uh, and relate to it. You try to play exactly what you think the audience wants for an hour and it doesn't really happen. It, they, you don't connect to them. And then after a while you think, fuck it, I'm going to just play whatever I feel like. And yeah. you do that. And then they wake up. Yeah. And the opposite, of course, also. But yeah. That too. That too. Yeah, but, but some... Yeah. It's really hard to... I mean, there are no... There are no universal solutions. You have to... You have to figure it out. Each night, it's yeah. a new challenge. Do you think that this is sort of a typical piano bar setup you have here? Yeah, it's a typical and it's a state of the art piano it, bar setup. It's good. I I love this setup. Yeah. Absolutely. What uh, is it you love about it? I, I'm partial to Yamaha. I, I I really like Yamaha instruments. All their instruments, drums and guitars and basses and the, Everything and and their keyboards, their synthesizers, the montage is fantastic. And uh, as far as digital pianos, stage pianos, I think Yamaha is really on top. And uh, this one, uh, the Yamaha CP300, has been some kind of what do you call that industry standard? Uh, yeah. Uh, for what is it now? 15 years maybe? Yeah, maybe 20 even. Now Yamaha has a current model that's named CP88. I have one and I think... Me too. Yeah. And I mean, it's uh, if, if you have to carry it yourself, yeah. you would prefer that to CP300. Yeah. Anyway, I love it. Yeah. The way it is um, in, in this setting. And I don't have to carry it around. It just is here, and it's really nice to play. Doesn't matter if it weighs like a tank when. Doesn't it, matter. No. And it has an excellent feel and excellent sound. Yeah. And uh, going through a uh, Yamaha O1. How do you say that in English? O1 V96. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty old piece of gear. I think that is from early yeah, 2000s. It, yeah. Yeah, 2000. but still f fabulous, fabulous, uh, and I really like to work with it. It's, I mean, it has everything that you uh, that you need 
in a situation like this, and it sounds fantastic. But the best thing, I believe, is the placement of it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Everything is installed exactly the way I want it. I want the speakers to be slightly behind me so I can hear what I'm sending out in the room. Mm -hmm. That's the way to go in a piano bar, so yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Do you use different settings on the piano? Not really. I use the, the standard performance one, which has a, the standard piano sound with a possibility of, of layering it with a really nice pad. Ready for seven quick ones? Sure. So, on the way to a gig, in the car, music or silence? It's different, but I say mostly music anyway. Yeah. Drums or piano? Ooh, drums. <laughs> <laughs> Always drums. <laughs> <laughs> music from the 80s or the 2000s? Ah, good music from any time. Did I get away with that? <laughs> I think you did okay. go, get away <laughs> with that. A big crowd in a small place or a small crowd in a big place? A big crowd in a small place. I know you're playing in bands also sometimes, and yeah. for the rest of your life, you're only gonna play in the band or play solo. If I have to choose, it's gonna be band. Yeah. Summer or winter? Oh, summer. Coffee or tea? Coffee. So, what is the Swedish word of today? It's rock apparat. Rock apparat. Rock apparat. And in English? Um. Shaving machine, I guess. Electrical shaver. Electrical shaver, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Roger that. <laughs>